Welcome to Wise Living Tools. Today I'm reviewing Mindfulness, an eight-week plan for finding peace in a frantic world by Mark Williams and Danny Penman. This book is based on mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, which has been clinically proven to treat depression and tackle anxiety, stress, and exhaustion. This eight-week program offers simple yet powerful practices that you can incorporate into daily life. It includes links to audio meditations, which I'll share with you at the end of this video. A typical meditation consists of focusing your full attention on your breath as it flows in and out of your body. Focusing on each breath in this way allows you to observe your thoughts as they arise in your mind and little by little let go of struggling with them. Eventually you come to realize that thoughts come and go on their own and that you are not your thoughts. Ultimately you have a choice about whether to act on them or not. Mindfulness allows you to catch negative thought patterns before they tip you into a downward spiral. Mindfulness is about observation without criticism and being compassionate with yourself. It's not about accepting the unacceptable. It's about seeing the world with greater clarity so that you can take wiser and more considered action to change those things that need to be changed. The authors describe two modes of the mind, doing mode and being mode. Doing mode is the mind's problem-solving mode, which is brilliant at automating our lives using habits. This automatic pilot allows us to extend memory and complete tasks like tying our shoes every day. Being mode is a different way of knowing that allows you to see how your mind tends to distort reality. It helps you to step outside of your mind's natural tendency to overthink, overanalyze, and overjudge. When we're unhappy, it's natural to try to figure out why we're feeling this way and to find a way of solving the problem of unhappiness. But unhappiness isn't a problem that can be solved. It's an emotion. It can't be solved, only felt. Once you felt it, acknowledged its existence, and let go of the tendency to explain it or get rid of it, it's much more likely to vanish naturally. So doing mode becomes a problem when it's used to try to solve our feelings by engaging our autopilot, which leads us to negative self-talk and reactive impulses and emotions. In mindfulness, we start to see the world as it is, not as we expect it to be, how we want it to be, or what we fear it might become. Each week of the mindfulness program has two elements, a meditation and a habit releaser. In mindfulness, you don't have to try and switch off your mind. You need to start learning to pay full attention. First, you need to find a way to train the mind to focus. This is meditation. Second, you need to find ways of dissolving the habits that can trap you in negative ways of thinking. The intention is not to strive for a goal or even to relax. It's more important to focus on the spirit of the meditation rather than getting hung up on the specifics. If you'd like to check out the meditations that accompany this book, click the link. If you're interested in watching a more detailed week-by-week -week video summary of the mindfulness program, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to Wise Living Tools.